All right, hi, this is Mr. Lim here, and this uh, we're going to go through question 38 from the um, exam and just really talk about uh, percentage calculations. Okay, so um, what I've done here is I've split it up into two parts, Cal uh, part A, which is calculate the mass of pure ethanol that's going to be produced from one ton of the gas. All right, so here we have one ton of this stuff, All right, and it gets turned into uh, glucose with an 80% weight recovery, okay, and then uh, a 60%... So 80% for the first conversion and then 60% for the next conversion from glucose into ethanol, right? But please note also that you're, also, you're only making 95% ethanol as well, right? So that one ton, uh, you have to apply the 80% to it. So one ton, uh, which is 1 million grams, uh, times it by 0.8. Okay, so one ton is 1 million grams times it by 0.8 will be, uh, you know, 800,000 grams. And that will be the glucose, okay? So the glucose will be the 800,000 grams, okay? Then we're going to uh, take that 800,000 grams and times it by 0.6 to get the next part, all right, times it by 0.6 to get 480,000 grams, okay? And that will be the uh, ethanol, whoops, not that, uh, the ethanol, okay? But it's the 95% uh, ethanol, okay? So this 480 grams, 480,000 grams, right, is this entire box. Okay, it's not just the ethanol from it. So therefore, we have to apply the 95% and it gets you 400. So we have to remove impurities, remove the 5%, okay, which will get us to 4650000 grams. Okay, so that's what you need to do in terms of that one, in terms of the one ton of the big ass. All right, so it's useful to think of this as, okay, what's the conversion rate and what actually is produced in terms of percentage purity. Now let's move on to the next part, okay? So here, one such industrial process consumes 100 tons per hour of 95% uh, by weight ethanol and produces 53 tons per hour of 99.7% 99 by weight polymer grade ethene. Okay, and so you see that I've drawn those out for 100 tons, but it's only 95% pure, and the 53 tons, which is 99.7% pure. All right, calculate the maximal theoretical mass of 99.7% ethene that can be produced per hour. Now, is it asking for the pure ethene, or is it asking for the total ethene with the impurities? It's asking for the, uh, the mass of... Um, impure ethene, okay, with the impurities. So that means it's going to be slightly greater than the mass of pure ethene, okay? It is because it is asking for, see in the question, it is asking for the theoretical mass of 99.7% ethene, okay? So it's asking for an impure value. All right, so let's go solve this one. So we're going to start off with the uh, ethanol, and we're going to work out how many moles of ethanol there is. Now, before we can do that, we have to think about the fact that it's actually 100 tons is the 95% ethanol. Okay, so we have to actually apply that 95% to that ethanol. So how are we going to do that? We have to work out the mass of ethanol is going to be equal to uh, for 100 tons, which is 100 million grams times 0.95, which will be equal to some value. So 100 million times 0.95, which is equal to 95 million. Hey, I should have earned that. What do I need to calculate for that? It's because now I have that value in my calculator, I can save it as A, and I can start saving values. All right, so then I can work out the number of moles of ethanol. Okay, so the number of moles of ethanol, we take that value divided by 46.068, which is the molar mass of ethanol, and I get 2062168.8. Uh, nine seven mole. Okay, so that's the number of moles of ethanol after I've applied that 95%. Once I have the number of moles of ethanol, I can work out the number of moles of ethene because the number of moles of ethene will equal the number of moles of ethanol because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, whoops, not equals to one times one on one, 
which equals, oh, that's B, because I saved that value of my calculator, so there, now that's B. All right. so now that I have the number of moles of ethene, okay, that's the number of moles of ethene pure, okay? And so remember, I'm trying to solve the number of moles of ethene, uh, I'm trying to solve for the mass of ethene that is the impure, the total mass of ethene. Okay, so I'm working out the larger 100% and I've got the 99.7%. So if I've got the number of moles of ethene pure, I can work out the mass of ethene pure. Okay, uh, that mass of ethene pure will be uh, B, that value, times 28.052, which is the molar mass of ethene. So that value times 28.052, which is equal to five, seven, eight, four, uh, seven, nine, six, three point nine grams. Okay, so that's the mass of ethene pure. Now that I have the mass of ethene pure, I can work out the mass of ethene impure. Okay, because I am, it is asking me for the theoretical mass of 99.7% ethene, which is the impure value. Okay, so I take that value, but which I'm going to call C, save my calculator as C, right? And I'm going to times that by 100 over 97, which will get me the 100%. What I'm effectively doing is actually turning it into a turning it into 1% because if I do C divided by 97, right, that'll get me to 1%, and then times it by 100 will get me to 100%, which will give me a value uh, times 100 divided by 97. 59.6, whoops, what am I doing, point, where's the, right, actually, yeah, I can do 59.64 uh, tons, okay, I did a quick conversion there, um, back into tons, all right, so that's the mass that I'm supposed to get, then I can do the percentage efficiency of the process, Okay, the percentage efficiency of the process will be for 53 that I actually got over the 59.64 that I was supposed to get theoretically, and that will get me 53 million divided by the actual answer that I got, times that by 100, and I will get 88 point, uh, eight. oh, whoops, what am I doing? That's not 97, it's 99.97. <laughs> That sucks. Okay, so I made that mistake all the way back up there. I was like, that's not the right answer. Okay, so good thing about saving values is that I can go back and take C divided by 99.7. Okay, so C, C divided, oops, divided by 99.7 times that by 100, and I get 58.02 tons. And then I do that again. 53 over 58.02 times 100, uh, 53, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by that answer, times 100, and I get 91.34 tons. Okay. Oops, not tons. What the hell? Percent. Okay. So that's what you had to do. Really what I wanted to focus on is just understanding this concept of, okay, I've got to see things as percentage of impure or pure, right? I've got to know that there is that percentage uh, there. And then what is it asking me to solve for? Is it asking me to solve for the impure value or the pure value? And then applying the percentage appropriately here and here, okay? So um, just really think, is it asking me to solve for a pure value or an impure value? And then that will hopefully help you with the calculation, okay? That's that. Adios.